Welcome to Comedy Global. The new distressing news from Chamoli shows that there is no end to the environmental disaster that the state of Uttaranchal, known as the land of astrology, is facing. It should also be remembered that Kerala, which is located 3,560 km south of Joshimat, is also not safe. Studies on the disasters of Joshimat had started since 1964. The district had been assessed as landslide-prone zone, but nothing out of ordinary ever happened. This is also applicable in our state of Kerala. Except for the loss of some lives, tsunami, oki floods and landslides since 2018 have not brought much change in the leadership of Kerala. The opposition of all organized movements on environmental issues is proof that everyone will forget everything and wait for a new disaster. The figures of strong landslides in Kerala are frightening. In the past seven years from 2015, the number of landslides in the country was 3,782, out of which 2,239 occurred in Kerala alone. Second in the list is Bengal. It has a number 376. The government has stated that 52,238 crore rupees will be required to save Kerala from natural calamities. Landslides can occur in 50 taluks in 5,620 square kilometers of the state. 28 lakh people would suffer. Floods can happen in 75 taluks in 6,790 square kilometers. 77.95 lakh people will be affected. 290 kilometers of shorelines are under erosion. 3.13 lakh people staying there are not safe. This means that our mountains are collapsing and our coasts are being washed away, threatening the lives and property of a large number of people in Kerala. Kerala was at the fore in making major interventions to subvert the Coastal Act. Now the recommendations of the High Power Committee of the Supreme Court are being negated and widespread protests are being conducted against the buffer zone in the state. Defects in the buffer zone should be removed. However, an ecologically sensitive area can never be demarcated from that state. There are more than 5,000 buildings that need to be demolished like Marida that are flooding the shores of Kerala. The dense forests of the Western Ghats are only 1,633 square kilometer in area. Illegal mining and paddy field filling are all destroying Kerala's eco-sensitive zone. Now let's see what is happening in Joshimat of Uttaranchal state. Let's see if there is anything happening differently from what is happening in Kerala. Joshimat is the gateway to the pilgrimage town of Badrinath. Badrinath temple is closed for six months during winter. Located at an altitude of 6,150 feet, one of the four pithas established by Aarti Shankara is functioning there. In regions like the Himalayas, the temperature reflection is threefold. It leads to the melting of mountain glaciers, which causes floods. As the glacier cover recedes and the area is replaced by water or land, albedo decreases the amount of light that is reflected rather than absorbed by the surface. This will increase the absorption of solar energy. This one will lead to more heat. There are 70 hydroelectric power plants with a capacity of 10,000 megawatt on the banks of the Ganga despite the severe melting of snow mountains. You should also remember that 80% of Bhagirathi's shore and 65% of Alagandandas are swollen by constructions. This is what we should call an environmental disaster. Even though the High Power Committee appointed by the Supreme Court has stated that 889 kilometer long Chartham project in the Himalayas will shake the foothills of the Himalayas, no one is shaken. The cost of project to connect the pilgrimage centers of Kedarnath, Badrinath, Gangotri and Yamunotri is 11,700 crores. Government is moving ahead with development projects. Road width has increased from 5.5 meters to 12 meters. Central government has no qualms about cutting down 57,000 trees and turning the mountains falling on top of the Joshi mud into graveyards. Disasters are coming here one after the other. In February 2021, floods in the Ganga tributaries Rishi Ganga and Dal Ganga claimed the lives of 200 people in the Tabovan hydroelectric power station construction area. In the month of July, a huge mountain collapsed in Dhantriya. There were 23 very serious incidents in 2021. 300 people were dead, 61 missing and 5,730 houses were destroyed. 18.5 hectares of land had collapsed. Kerala can still protect the Western Ghats. If we do not stand together, we will not be able to prevent future disasters. Tsunami, Oki floods and landslides have come and gone continuously in Kerala. We can only say that everything is beyond prediction. 
This is Anjana signing off. Do like and share this video. For further updates, subscribe to Comedy Global.